Heating one's house with solar electric energy is a satisfying pursuit. To accomplish this, I built a variety of DC space heaters which plug directly into my solar panel arrays. The original goal I had was to stop using my heat pumps and grid tie inverters in the winter by directly consuming PV DC power in my heaters. This goal was very successfully met. I've been doing this since a few years ago and it works pretty well. If you are interested in trying out such a project, I will show you the details in this video. You can also check out my other detailed videos on PV DC space heaters and other technology linked in the description. Hi folks, heating your home with solar energy direct from solar panels is a lot of fun and very rewarding, but it can be a bit complicated. I wanted to share with you a DIY project that is quite accessible and is not as complicated. This is actually a space heater that can run directly off solar panels and consume DC power directly with no electronics, no battery, no inverter. It's a nice easy DIY project. It's actually the Harbor Freight Parabolic Infrared Space Heater. As you can see here, this heater is running off of a direct solar power feed. The knobs and switch gear and timer and the oscillation motor are not compatible with DC and cannot be used. You can either leave them in the heater or remove them, but it doesn't matter. It will need a DC rated tip over switch and a thermal fuse. And you can place the thermal fuse in series with the existing thermal protective device, which is seen right there at the top, right where my finger is pointing. The thermal fuse will blow if the heater gets too hot, whereas that device there will reset. I recommend a thermal fuse for additional protection. You need a PVDC rated circuit breaker. It can consume DC power directly. This heater is running off about 55 to 60 volts DC. And the heating element acts very much like a light bulb. It's quite high resistance after it heats up and low resistance at first. It is sealed and cannot be modified. There is no heating element rewind required to run this heater. It will consume DC power just fine all day heating your home exactly as you see it here. If you've been thinking about trying a solar photovoltaic DC powered space heater project but you don't want to rewind heating elements as in some of the other heaters that I've shown on my channel, this would be a fantastic way to get started because the heating element is sealed, cannot be modified, and does not need modification. If the voltage of your solar panels goes a little bit too high, it doesn't matter because the heating element is able to handle voltage swings with no problem at all. I can't really call this heater plug and play because you do have to modify it to safely operate off of DC. But this is one of the easiest PV to load DC powered space heater conversions I have ever done. This heater is quite easy to work on. All you have to do is open the bottom of the heater and remove or disconnect the AC switches, the AC timer, and the AC motor for oscillation. And then you need to install your own PV rated wire. You need to install a tip over switch with a DC rating for safety. The integrated tip over switch in this heater cannot handle DC, so you can't depend on it. And you also need a thermal fuse and you also need a solar photovoltaic DC rated circuit breaker to switch the heater on and off. But that's simple stuff. You just hook it up in series. There is no polarity, no positive or negative. Power the heating element. When the sun comes out, it will simply energize the heater and it will start warming the space. I would suggest this heater would be useful for heating a small bedroom or providing supplemental heat to a living room. It's not going to heat a 10,000 square foot mansion but it will heat a small room or provide supplemental heat. Now in the future, I plan to modify this heater further and I'm going to increase its heating output. Hopefully that'll be another video. By the way, Merry Christmas and thank you to all the subscribers who have signed up and also to those who are still with us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.